Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're building the house for my Sims 4 country living um, Let's Play, I guess, uh, which is scary but also exciting. My first proper Sims um, Let's Play. As a kid, I always thought this was what I'd end up doing. Um, I used to be obsessed with uh, urban uh, Sims. I used to be obsessed with, was it Queenie? The one that sadly passed away. Uh, literally, I used to be always talking to myself whilst playing The Sims. I still do, as if I'm streaming or as if I'm recording a video, which is really sad, to be fair. Sad that I didn't ever pick up a camera before now, but here we are. We made it finally. Obviously, right now, I do not have the Country Living um, expansion pack, uh, but as soon as I do, I am probably going to add to this build a little bit, add some of the new uh, furniture things and possibly wallpapers and things like that, just to jazz it up a little bit. Right now we're building the house in Newcrest, uh, just because I've got nowhere else to put it, I need to be honest with you. Um, I'm building on one of the smaller lots, so when we do go into the new world, it's going to be easy just to like, you know, slot in there. This is my first build on YouTube, so if anything looks a little bit weird, uh, please forgive me. I have absolutely no clue how to even like, firstly film this and then secondly edit it. I'm just doing my best, uh, doing what I think I should be doing, but it might end up a complete hot mess, and if it does... Uh, please excuse it and if you have any tips please comment them down below because your girl needs some help with this build I actually experimented so much. I've never used foundations before in my sims journey Which is probably a shock to many of you guys because foundations have been in the sims for a while now But I used to like kind of main the sims 3 and I never really knew it was an option on there um, So the sims 4 is something I'm still kind of experimenting with uh, in terms of building. I'm really used to the gameplay kind of aspects of things, but not the building side. Um, so yeah, this was a bit a bit scary, a bit scary. I gave myself some green roofs because I thought that would be kind of cool. I did some terrencing, I think that's what it's called, the little like crisscrossy things and the wooden bits. Very English backs, well done. <laughs> um, uh, the windows, I did like different kinds of windows. It was, just call me freaking Picasso, you know. I'm like, you know, I'm doing bits out here. I'm proud of this build. A lot of you guys are probably like, it's kind of ugly, but you know what? I'm proud of it. It went a lot better than what I thought it was going to go. Honestly, I had absolutely no expectations for this build, but you know what? In real life, I wouldn't mind living in it, and I think that's a kind of sign of a okay-ish build, I guess. I'm going to talk a little bit about the family behind this house, because that's going to explain some of the um, choices I went with uh, regarding all the furniture and stuff. So basically, we have two lesbian lovers living with the one lesbian's mother. Uh, the mother loves her daughter to death, but isn't quite supportive of her being with another woman. Which is something she struggles with, because the daughter is best friends with her mother, but obviously is completely in love with her girlfriend. Uh, they all live together. Tony, the daughter's um, lover, got kicked out. Um, and the uh, mother, Maury, didn't want to, like, you know, just let her daughter be distraught about her girlfriend, you know, being homeless. Uh, so she let her come in love with them. Um, she's not very supportive of it. She still is a little bit uh, wary about it. You'll see in a little bit that uh, Maury has even set up a little room with, a, like, a blow-up bed for her to stay in. But she doesn't want her daughter, Teddy, and her lover, Tony, sleeping in the same bed together. Um, which, you know... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Maury's problem is. I think she might come around. The thing is with Teddy right now, which I think is going to be our main character, is that she is so torn between her lover and her mum. Obviously, she has a really close relationship with both of them, and she just wants it to work out, but it's just not working. They're literally like throwing drinks at each other all the time, shouting at each other all the time, and it's stressing her out. It's really stressing her out. She doesn't know what to do. She's a writer, and her creative juices aren't flowing because, you know, all this drama between her and her mum, which isn't fun. Uh, so they're hoping that moving to the countryside and having this farm is going to really, really build the relationship between Tony and Maury because they both love the outdoors and they both love gardening and things like that. Um, Maury's actually in the gardening career at the moment. Uh, Tony is an astronaut at the moment. She does not love it at all. She really wants to quit, but she doesn't know what else to do. So moving to this new farm is going to be really good for her as well. Um, I, th I think it might it might salvage the relationship. I don't know. We will have to see. As you can tell from some of Maury's views, she's quite old fashioned. So the build kind of has this kind of old fashioned kind of twist to it. Um, obviously, it is kind of based on the countryside a little bit because I wanted to make it kind of fit. Um, so things were going to be kind of old fashioned anyway. Um, 
I even end up putting a dog bed in this build because I thought it'd be kind of cute for them to either get a dog or a cat. I don't really like cats personally in real life. I'm sorry, I'm a cat, cat phobe. Obviously, as I said, Tony's parents chucked her out. So she's kind of um, not linked to anyone at the moment because she just does not want to be attached to her family. Uh, they weren't very nice to her as a kid anyway, so she's just done with that. And Teddy's dad actually died when she was younger. Uh, but she had a really really close relationship with him. He was really laid back and really leveled out Maury But now Maury's got no one holding her back. So she kind of goes ham on everybody and anybody I was debating whether to put a bow down the stairs because I feel like a lot of uh, elder people They just kind of you know live by bars But I ended up putting a shower in just for convenience as you can tell from Maury's uh, room She's very feminine. She loves feminist. She loves being feminine. She loves everything uh, stereotypically fem fem feminine, <laughs> girl, get your words out, uh, so, you know, her bedroom is pink, she loves flowers, all that kind of stuff, um, outside I put some gardening things for Maury, and a little barbecue, because I thought that'd be kind of cute, I don't know, I don't know, um, there's loads of flowers in this build, obviously, because country living, and plus Maury loves flowers, so does Tony, so I just thought it'd be fitting, uh, here's the room that Maury set up with the bunk bed for a Tony because she didn't want to sleep um, <laughs> with uh, She didn't want the Tony and Teddy to share a room As you can tell the upstairs of this build is a lot more modern than the downstairs And that's basically because Maury said to the girls that they could design the upstairs uh, However they liked because she just wanted them to have a little bit of independence They are young adults so they should have a little bit of independence at least Just a little bit, a little bit even though it kills Maury inside uh, but honestly, she just doesn't want uh, Teddy to move away. She is so attached to her daughter. She does not want anyone, 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 anyone getting in the way between her and her relationship with uh, Teddy, which I think is probably the main, like, fuel of this fire of her hate towards Tony, uh, which, you know, Teddy is her only child. Tony is not her only child, but that's going to be something we explore later in this Let's Play. Um, I'm really, I'm in love with this build actually, you know what, fuck it, I love this build, I don't care if you like this build, I like this build, and that's all that counts honey, I, I don't know, I don't know, I did a little bit of landscaping, not too much because, um, I thought, you know, we're gonna need room for a uh, farm eventually, so this is the final build, I'm sorry that this editing was a little bit slow, I'm just trying to figure it out still, so please don't kill me off, um, it was kind of a whole process finding out how to edit this and using the tools and stuff. This whole way we're going into Maury's room, obviously very pink, very fem feminine, very Maury. Um, and then, you know, we've got the old fashioned lamp, loads of plants because Maury. Um, yeah, we've got those stereotypical grandma curtains because I had to throw them in there. Uh, there's the upstairs and then we go into the bathroom. Uh, this bathroom is really nice, it's really simple, kind of blue themed. I ended up putting towels in the shower, which I will fix later. I completely forgot I put them in there, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but yeah, here's the kitchen, it's so beautiful. I was really toying between the chairs, uh, because I like the modern aspect of it, but at the same time it's Maury's kitchen, but yeah, I wanted to spruce it up just a little bit, because the girls do live there, you know, they probably have a little bit of a say. Uh, we put loads of shelves in, because why not? Have a little bit of a shoe rack by the door and here's a little living room it's so dainty and so small and i really love it it's a really small tight space uh which personally i love small spaces uh trauma who i don't know i just really love them um and then we go upstairs upstairs a lot more modern as i said of, uh, earlier because maury let the girls assign it here's the room that she wants tony to sleep in but tony does not sleep in there uh tony said hell no girl i ain't sleeping in there and here's the bathroom, I really love this bathroom, it's really modern, we have all black, um, all black furniture I guess, and then the wooden walls, I, 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 I think it's stunning, I love it, I love it. Um, and then we go into Teddy and Tony's room, we do have the pride flags up, which I hope YouTube's not going to hate me for, uh, this is a little less modern, and it's just because Teddy, uh, the daughter of Maury, it kind of takes after her a little bit. She does like the old fashioned kind of things. As always, guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. It helps me out more than you know. And apparently I'm supposed to tell you to click on a bell icon. I don't know. I don't know. If you find it, then maybe click on it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any dog slash cat names, 
please put them in the comments below because I'm gonna need them for pretty soon I'll say into the sluts plague I'm probably going to upload another sims video next week so stay tuned and then after that it's going to be all country living I'm gonna have the pack so that's gonna be really really fun all right guys bye